Given two points, we want to find the equation of a line. We will be using the familiar point-slope equation. First, we need to calculate the slope between the two points. Secondly, we should select the easier, I prefer the ones without negatives of the two points, to use in our equation, although either one of the points will in fact suffice. So we're given two points, 0, negative 10, 3, negative 1. We want to find the point-slope equation and then convert this into slope-intercept form. What I'd like to do is do this problem two ways. First, let's choose the point 0, negative 10. So, we're going to use 0, negative 10 as our point. We need to find the slope. Let's call this x1, y1, x2, y2. Remember the slope is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So y2 would be negative 1 minus y1, which is negative 10, divided by x2, which is 3, minus x1, which is 0. So this becomes 9 over 3, which gives us a slope of 3. And we're going to use this point 0, negative 10. So we're using the point-slope equation, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So we have y minus, our y1 will be negative 10, equals m, which is 3, times x minus 0. So if we put all this together, y plus 10 equals 3 times x minus 0. So this would be the point-slope equation. Let's convert this, however, into the other form. y plus 10 distribute to 3, so we have 3x. Let's subtract 10 from both sides. So y equals 3x minus 10, and this will be written in the slope-intercept form. Now we want to keep our eye on these as we try this problem a different way. This time, let's instead use the point 3, negative 1 as we go through our analysis, 3, negative 1. So, once again, we would have to find the slope of the line, and the slope, once again, would be negative 1 plus 10 over 3 minus 0, because it's exactly the same as before, which is 9 over 3, which gives us a slope of 3. But we're going to be using the other point, which is 3, negative 1. And let's see how this differs from the other one. So we write y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So we'll write y minus, our y coordinate is negative 1, equals m, which is 3, times x minus our x coordinate, which is 3. So we have y plus 1 equals 3 times x minus 3. So this, in fact, will be our point slope equation, because we have the point 3, negative 1. Here we had the point 0, negative 10. But now let's convert this. y plus 1, let's distribute. 3 times x is 3x. 3 times negative 3 will be negative 9. Let's subtract 1 from both sides of the equation. y equals 3x minus 10. And this will be our slope-intercept equation. And notice what has happened here. Depending on which point, we wind up with the same slope-intercept equation, 3x minus 10. However, the point slope, because we have a different point, it starts off as a different equation. This is important to realize that no matter which point you select on the line, you'll always get the same slope-intercept equation.